What's up, Nurse Chum Bestie? Welcome to Math Bootcamp with Mr. Chung. It's the me. In this video, we're going to focus on equation with one variable. Let's get started. With equation with variables, the main goal that we want to focus on is isolate x. So let's do some practice to see what I actually mean. The first example, we have 5x minus 7 equal to 18. So the way to isolate x is, is we trying to work through anything that is not directly connected to the x. Because here, 5x is directly connected, right? But minus 7 is not directly connected. So that would be the first thing that we're trying to maneuver it out. So for this question, since we have negative 7, we want to do the exactly opposite on both sides to eliminate them, right? So if you do plus 7 on both sides, this negative 7 will cancel the plus 7 on the left. And the left side will have plus 7. So what that change? That will change to 5x equal to 18 plus 7 equal to 25. Now the next step, right? The next step is we need to isolate x. Since 5 is multiplied with x, what does that mean? We need to do the what? Exactly opposite. Since this is multiplied by 5, we need to divide a 5 on both sides. Remember, in any kind of equation, you can think of chemical equation, math equation, as long as there is equal sign, you want to balance them out, right? What does the balance mean? Whatever you do on the left, you almost need to do it on the right. In this case, we want to divide it by 5 on the left to isolate x. We also need to divide it by 5 on the right to balance the equation. This divided by 5 will cancel this 5 out. we left with x. And at the bottom, 25 divided by 5 is just equal to 5, just like that. It just needs a little more practice to understand this concept, right? Because it's just, you know, you're pretty much doing the same thing over and over again based on how the equation is set up. So let's try another one, right? We have 3y over 4 plus 2 equal to 11, which is the first thing that we can isolate it up. The plus 2, right? So let's do that. So it means that we want to minus 2 on both sides to cause this plus 2 to cancel each other out, right? So we will left with 3y over 4 equal to 11 minus 2 equal to 9, okay? So what is the next step? The next step is we got divided by 4, right? Because this right here, we can easily cancel that out, right? So we got divided by 4. We know that by what? By this line. Just like all the fraction, 5 over 9 is just 5 divided by 9. Same same concept. So this line, we mean divided by 4. So how do we cancel that out? We multiply 4 on both sides. It will cause... This divided by 4 canceled by the multiply. What we have left is 3y equal to 9 times 4 equal to 36. We still have something connected to the y, right? What is the last one? The last thing we have is the 3, right? So how to cancel that out? Divided by 3 on both sides. It will cause this 3 cancel with this 3. We will left with y equal to 36 divided by 3 equal to 12. Just like that. It's quite simple. It's just the same process over and over again to isolate the variable. So let's do some more practice question to make sure you understand the concept, right? So our next question, negative 2x plus 9 equal to 3. So what we have, the first thing we see, right? We got the plus 9 right here. We can easily isolate it. So let's do that. So all we need is minus 9 on both sides to cause this to cancel each other out. What we have left, minus 2x equal to 3 minus 9 equal to what? Negative 6. So what is next? Next, we have the negative 2 multiplied by x, right? So let's do the opposite. Let's divide it negative 2 on both sides. It will cause this negative 2 cancel each other out. What we have left is x, right? Equal to, so remember, right? The negative root. When a negative number divided with a negative number, what does that become? A positive number, right? Because this 2 negative will cancel each other out. So the answer is just 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. Perfect. Just like that. Simple, right? So now, the next one we have 4 parenthesis y minus 1 close parenthesis equal to 12. So there's two ways to do this question, right? One, you can distribute the parenthesis based on PANDAS rule, or the other one, just move the 4 out. You divide it first to make it simple. So I'm going to do both examples. So we're going to do the PANDAS rule style first. Let's distribute it. So remember, right, how to distribute this is 4 multiplied by y and 4 multiplied by negative 1 as a whole. So how does that change? This will change to 4y, right? 4 multiplied by negative 1 equal to minus 4, right? 1 times 4 equal to 4, and you copy the negative, is equal to 12. 
Now this is a format that you're familiar with, right? Now the next step. We have minus 4, so that's plus 4 on both sides. Negative 4 will cancel with the plus 4. You are left with 4y is equal to 12 plus 4 equal to 16. And what is the next step? Divided by 4, right? To cause that to cancel out the multiply 4, you will left with y equal to 16 divided by 4. It's just 4. Simple, right? You're trying to you know, follow the parenthesis rule on one side, trying to distribute it, right? Because pen does. P, parenthesis, distribute it form your next equation and just do the same steps. Isolate y or the variable. The second way you can do this, right? So we know that this 4 is what? Multiplying the parenthesis. So we can do one thing, right? If we divide 4 on both sides, we're just canceling this out, right? we could just canceling the 4 outside the parenthesis. So what we have left, if you do that? What we have left is just y minus 1 equal to 12 divided by 4, you're left with 3, right? The equation becomes simple. We know that parentheses, since nothing around it, it's just open, right? Equal to y minus 1, equal to 3. And what is the next step? Isolate variable, right? Since we have minus 1, we plus 1 on both sides, cause this to cancel each other out, then you're left with y equal to 4. Both steps work. Both steps actually take the same amount of lines. Three steps, 1, 2, and 3 to cause the final answer. But preference is whatever you like. Whatever makes you feel more confident is the correct way. But they both work. It's just using a little different concept. One is the distribution method. The other one is, you know, you pick out whatever you can isolate immediately. But they both work. All right? So let's practice a little bit more. Practice make perfect. So the next one. Y plus 2 over 3 equal to 5. Remember, right? This overline, the fraction line, this is it's just equal to divide. Divided by 3, right? What we can do immediately, right, is multiply 3 on both sides to eliminate the bottom, right? So this will get crossed. I was one multiply by 3. What we have left is y plus 2 equal to 5 times 3 equal to 15. Now, we just need to eliminate the plus 2, right? So what we need to do? So minus 2 on both sides, right, to cancel that out. So once you do that, all you have left is y equal to 15 minus 2, 13. Just like that. So next, let's do another little more complicated one, right? 3x plus 12 equal to 7x minus 21. So remember, the goal is isolate x, right? So let's move some numbers around. First is, we can move this whole number without any variable in it to the right side. What does that mean? It means that we want to minus 12 on both sides to cause this plus 2 to cancel, right? So we have 3x equal to, you copy, right, 7x. So minus 21 minus 12 is equal to what? Minus 33, okay? It's because you already have negative, and then you minus more. You just continue to be negative. So what is next? Next, what you can do is, is we want to move this 7x to connect it with the x right here, right? So how do we do that? We minus 7x on both sides, right? Because when we do that, this 7x will just cancel itself out, and the other side is just minus 7x. So 3x minus 7x is equal to what? Minus 4x, right? Because 3 minus 7 equal to negative 4, and you just still have the x as a variable, equal to minus 33, okay? So now we have negative 4x is equal to negative 33. We isolate x, right? How do we isolate them? We divide it negative 4 on both sides. So we will have x by itself, right? On the other side, negative 33 divided by negative 4, right? We know that negative divided by negative, the negative sign will cancel each other out. So we're left with 33 over 4. But is that our final answer? No, it's not, right? We need to make it the most simplest form. The most simplest form on this fraction is a mixed fraction. So remember how we convert fraction to mixed fraction? We put a division sign now, right? We put the numerator inside, denominator on the outside, right? So we know that 4 times a equal to 32 is less than what the original number is, so we know it works. We minus them, become, we have 1 left, right? So what is this, right? a will be what? Our whole number, 1 will be our numerator, and 4 will maintain our denominator. The final answer will be a with 1 over 4. That will be our most simplest form for this answer. Okay? Just like that. Let's do a more practice question to reinforce this concept. So next one. Negative 4 
parenthesis, 3x plus 4, close parenthesis, equal to x plus 12. So let's do this with a distribution method, right? We need to multiply negative 4 with whatever in the inside, the parenthesis, right? So we multiply by the 3x and also multiply that with 4. So what would that become, right? Negative 4 multiplied by 3x is equal to negative 12x, right? Negative 4 times 4 is equal to a positive multiplied by a negative number is equal to negative. And 4 times 4 equal to 16 is equal to x plus 12. So now let's move some numbers around, right? We keep the x on the left, the numbers on the right. First step, right? Plus 16 on both sides will cause negative 16 to cancel out. So what we have? Negative 12x is equal to x plus 12 plus 16 is equal to 28. Now, the next step, right? We need to move the x from the right side to the left side. How do we do that? We want to cancel on the left, so minus x. And we do the exactly the same thing, minus x on the left. Because this x will get canceled out, right? So negative 12x minus x is equal to what? Negative 13x equal to 28. So now, what is the last step? We want to isolate the x, right? So we divided negative 13 on both sides because this neg divided of negative 13 will cancel this negative 13 out. All you have left is x, right? On the other side, same thing, right? 28 over negative 13. So that's not the final answer, right? We need to convert that to a mixed fraction. So let's put 28 in the inside, 13 on the outside. We know that you can multiply 2. We'll make it 26, right? Then we do the minus sign and left with 2. So let's form this together again, right? We keep the negative sign. Don't forget this negative sign is very important, right? So we keep the negative right here. We know that 2 as a whole number, 13 as your denominator, and 2 is your numerator. So your final answer will be x is equal to negative 2 and 2 over 13. Okay? So it's getting easier, right? The process is still the same. So let's do another example. We have 9 parenthesis x minus 12 close parenthesis equal to minus 3 parenthesis x minus 6. Distribution again, right? 9 multiplied with x and 9 multiplied with negative 12. And then same thing over here. Negative 3 multiplied with x and negative 3 need to multiply with negative 6. So what we have? What we have is 9 times x equal to 9x. 9 times negative 12, right, equal to negative. 108 okay it's equal to negative 3 multiplied by x is equal to what negative 3x right and then now negative 3 multiplied by negative 6 negative multiplied by negative become positive 6 times 3 equal to 18 so now once this form right we just need to isolate the numbers so how do we do that first right we add 108 on both sides cause this 108 to cancel on the left so what we have left 9x is equal to negative 3x, right? And 108 plus 18 is equal to 126. So now, next step, right? Do it all over again. We need to move this x back to the left. How do we do that? We plus 3x on both sides because we do the exact opposite, right? So when you do this, this will get canceled out. And what we have left? We have left is 9x plus 3x equal to what? 12x equal to 126. And the final step, final isolation, right? 12x, so we know that we just need to divide the 12 on both sides. So we left with x is equal to 126 divided by 12 is equal to 10.5. The answer could be also equal to 10 and 1 half, right? Because remember, when we're trying to do decimal to convert it to fraction, it's just 5 over 10. And then you simplify. Divide by 5 on both top and bottom, you get 1 half. Okay? So make sure this two, either one can show up. It just depends on, you know, how the question is set up and how the answer key is set up. But either one will show up. So you need to make sure, knowing that this two answer is exactly the same, it just presented in a different form. So make sure you're aware of that and always, you know, know how to change from a decimal back to percentage. If you have any question on that, make sure you go back to watch the video about fraction calculation and how to convert fraction back to decimal. That's everything you need to know when it comes to equation with one variable. And as always, if you have any question, make sure you leave it down below. We love answering your question. Head over to nursechangstore.com where there are tons of additional resources to help you feel more confident with your ATIT exams. 
and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!